Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Today's date is October the 15th, 2019, and I have a story today about the allure of the seas uh, and some pretty risky behavior to say the least. Apparently, a passenger was uh, looking out the balcony today, his balcony, and he saw this. He saw a passenger standing outside of their balcony, hanging onto the roof of the balcony above them, looking out over the ocean. Here's a close-up view. It's a woman standing outside of her balcony, uh, taking in the scenery. Well, this passenger did the right thing. They called security. Uh, they identified the cabin where this woman was uh, doing this. Uh, they apparently uh, found her, and I don't think she's on the ship anymore. It looks like at the very top there, just underneath the very top of that uh, ship, is where she was standing. Got to be at least 200 feet above uh, the waterline. Here's a guy who uh, took a dare from some pals when they were in Nassau, jumped off the Symphony of the Seas into the water. He survived and then got kicked off the ship and banned for life. This guy here was uh, pulling off some kind of a stunt a few years ago. He was uh, pulled in, thankfully did not uh, get hurt. Here are some idiots. Uh, this is what cruise lines do not want you to be doing, whether it's by the pier, at the port, on the ship. You've got to be kidding me. Here's a survivor that's going to be hauled in by uh, by the crew. Uh, the gentleman survived it, uh, but uh, I can tell you that uh, the doctors are taking a good look at him, and then they're probably sending him for medical or or, or what we see psychological treatment because you got to be crazy to be jumping off a cruise ship. Here's a woman who jumped off a cruise ship on purpose. She had had a fight with her boyfriend in the Mediterranean area and she survived 10 hours in the water unbelievable here is someone who i don't think made it i don't know the the final outcome of this story but this does not look good here's another shot here of another passenger who i don't think survived they uh, slipped and fell into the water at probably 20 miles an hour and uh i don't even know if their bodies were found it's terrible um Best case scenario sometimes is you get winched up into a helicopter with multiple injuries. Uh, worst case scenario, you fall off a cruise ship. This happens. You come home in a body bag. It's not pretty. It's not nice. And uh, I tell you, folks, uh, there's no room for pulling a stunt on a cruise ship whatsoever. The outcome could be extremely dangerous and uh, permanently bad. Um, this here is a dramatization of a shot of someone in the water. But if you fall off a cruise ship and survive the impact, uh, you might not ever be found. You might be in the water for hours. It is, after all, after all salt water in most cases that, uh, you know, in oceans and seas, salt water, you probably are going to be somewhat buoyant if you survive the, uh, the fall. But, oh my gosh, if the ship is uh, half a mile away from you when they come back to find you, you're never going to be found. Look at these, uh, this picture here. Can you imagine uh, being in this water here? There's, there's no way you're going to be found. You're, you're gone forever. Don't do it, is what I say. Thanks for joining me today. It's Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye for now.